me with your high school team. That was a lot of fun, looked like. As I said, you have uh, a new guy there, Cortez, helping out, and looks like you guys are going to have another pretty good team this year. Just what you thought of it. Um, I think I think the same with Adam Pieces. He actually, he's actually my cousin, so it was easier to get him over, and he's ready to work instantly. So we're off to a pretty good start. What, what was uh, Coach Holman talking to you about there after the game? I saw you had a, had a moment with him. Um, just getting upstairs for a little bit, talking about uh, another visit possibly, yeah. and talking about what he thinks I can do with the program. What do you think you can do with the program? You know, after playing that game and seeing all your skill sets, what can you bring to a team at the college level? Um, just a lot of versatility, whatever the coach needs. Um, guarding one through four, playing point guard, playing a wing, locking up, whatever you need. That seems like an important attribute, like in college basketball these days, is versatility and guarding. That I mean, is that something that you've had to develop, or is that something that I mean that has always been a part of your game? Um, I would say it's always been a part of my game. Like starting out playing basketball, I started as a guard. I wasn't always as tall as I was now, and having the growth spurt that I had, I stay I stuck with my guard skills and I developed more skills. So versatility just came with that. What's attractive about Ohio State, like in terms of being an option for you at the next level? Um, the conference, the Big Ten is obviously a great basketball conference. Um, the program, the coaching staff, like they tell you a vision they have for you, so they don't let you just think whatever you want to think. They tell you what it is and what you need to know. Do you have like a, some sort of time where you'd like to be at certain points in the year? Um, not really. No. Do you have any official visits lined up right now? Or? Uh, I have an official visit at uh, University of California, Alberta, and I'm working on some more to go in, at the end of June. Okay. So uh, NC State as well, is that another one? Yeah, we're uh, working on that right now. And Xavier, are they involved still? Uh, you know, with the new coach, I have to, I've talked to him, but we got to develop more of a relationship. I'm sure that can be done. Now. What, a, what about your game? Are you looking to improve this summer as you head into uh, your final year? Um, being able to play the point guard and then guard the best players too, like conserve some energy more on the offensive end so I can take more of a standpoint on defense and shooting the ball. How, how valuable is it to have a, I mean, you talked about guarding one through four, but being a point guard at your size, I mean, what, what can that, does that kind of set the tone for the rest of the lineup in terms of what you can do or how valuable is that? I, I say it's very valuable. You know, uh, if I have a small guard on me, I can shoot over, put him in a pose. If there's a big guy on me, I can go by him. He's usually going to be too slow to stay in front of me since I have guards too. So this is very valuable. Does Coach Holman want to like, see you at playing point guard like, at this level, or is he talking to you about you know, positionally where he envisions you playing? Uh, he actually just mentioned that. Like, he could see uh, some point guard in my future, but we have, we have, we have a talk uh, coming soon. What stands out to you about this? You talk about trying to build a relationship with other coaches. How's that relationship? come along with, with Coach Holman and, and how do you feel that's happening? Um, with him, like, we have a good relationship. He always stays in the mix and checks up on me and sees my progress and he tells me what he thinks, like what he sees in my game and what I can do. And I know I know Jake Diebler is also a very, very important part of the recruiting here. So, I mean, what has your relationship been like with him and what kind of stands out about him? Uh, with this coaching staff, I, I talk to Diebler the most. Like, he FaceTimes me. We talk pretty often. And he always tells me what he thinks. He doesn't tell me what I, what I want to hear and that, that's what really important thing to have as a coach. What kind of things does he say in terms of ways he wants to see you improve? Uh, everything, I, like he'll watch me and tell, tell me exactly what I need to work on and what he sees and how my game molds into this program and the playing style. Shooting threes, you hit a couple of them in this game. Is that an area, is that something you do more with Afrocentric than perhaps with your travel team? I don't know, just what uh, what's your thought about that? How important is that a part of your game with this? Uh, I wouldn't say that it's like purposely I'm shooting more here, but mm-hmm. I feel like it comes a lot easier. Like with all Ohio, people are closing out harder because everybody on the team is like really can go, so it's easier to get off the bench. How about all Ohio and what you guys can accomplish in July? Uh, if you play well in Kansas City, you can go to the Peach Gym. Just how exciting would that be to be playing on the national stage like that? Uh, it would be great. You know, we, we made it to the eight last year, had a couple of injuries, ended up losing. But we just got two more games to qualify, and we added a couple of pieces with our guys for July. So I think we're going to be in really good shape. Do you know Austin Parks and George Washington at all? Or? Uh, yeah, George Washington is a really good friend of mine. He's our point guard, um, great player, great shooter, and he's just a, a great teammate. And Austin, you know, we played him last year a couple of times in AAU. I've met him. And, He's a really good guy. I think we, could, we, we should add him for July to all of our